Hola mis amores, in today's video I want to show you the three phases that we must all navigate when we are manifesting the life that we envision for ourselves, our highest version of ourselves, with calm and with courage. And these are the exact same phases that I go through over and over and over again. Every time I'm manifesting a new element of the life I want for myself, these are the exact phases that my clients go through. And these are the exact phases that every single female founder in the world right now that's really nailing it is also going through. As you watch this video, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, I've gone through that phase, or oh, this sounds really familiar, or I think I've experienced something like that then that's because you're not alone. We are all going through this and I wanna make sure that you know that we are in it together, okay? So why am I sharing this with you? Well, most people doubt their abilities and are constantly second guessing themselves, wondering if they're making the right decisions in their lives and in their business. The result is that they overwork themselves to the point of burnout and they feel frustrated because they don't know if they're making any progress. Now, if this isn't you, I am so happy because you don't have to deal with this. But if you're watching this video and you're thinking, Nori, that sounds like me, I want you to know that this does not have to be your story anymore. Our theme for this month is prioritizing our self-trust because I want to make sure that you are equipped with the best tools to prioritize your time better so that you can be in the present moment and finish the things that you start. Now let's jump into these three phases. The first phase is awareness. Because before you can manifest the highest version of yourself, you have to be able to know how are you showing up right now? When you become aware of how you're showing up right now, you put yourself in the best position to change your behavior. The biggest reason why people struggle here is because they don't want to accept their reality. So they sacrifice awareness in the name of comfort. And this behavior is actually pretty normal. Without self-awareness, you're going to continue to make the same mistakes and not know why you are doing that. But a sign that you're becoming self-aware is that you're able to see how you act versus how you think you act. Does that make sense? The second phase is attention. After you become aware of how you act right now, the next step is to get really clear on what are the activities that need your attention the most in this moment in order for you to manifest your highest self with calm and with courage. That means that everything is not gonna make the list. When you channel your attention towards the most important activities, you're going to achieve your goals faster and with less overwhelm. The biggest reason why people struggle here is because they don't want to let go and focus. So they try to do everything at once. And this leaves them feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, and drained. Another behavior that's pretty normal for a lot of us. Without focusing your attention on the activities that are the most important right now, you'll continue to feel overwhelmed and stagnant, wondering how come you cannot move any faster than you would like to. But a sign that you are focusing your attention is that you are able to identify the 20% of activities that will bring you 80% of the results that you want in order to manifest your higher self. Phase number three is autonomy. After you channel your attention towards the top 20% of activities that are going to bring you 80% of the results that you want, you want to maximize your capacity so that you can overcome any remaining challenges that you may be dealing with at the moment. The autonomy phase focuses on mastering your relationship with discomfort so that you can remain grounded no matter what comes your way. The biggest reason why people struggle here is because they do not want to release the things they cannot control. So they overexert themselves and that leaves them feeling angry and resentful with themselves and with other people. 
Now, without consistent autonomy over the things you can control, you're going to continue feeling guilty and even shameful for taking time to recharge and prioritize your well-being because you're gonna feel like everything else deserves your attention besides you. A sign that you're practicing consistent autonomy in your life is that you are taking action on those 20% of activities that help you get the 80% of results that you want in order to manifest the highest version of yourself. Now, if you're falling into some of the mistakes I've shared with you during, during this video, I want you to know that the most important thing for you to understand right now is that being aware of these three phases is only a portion of an effective self-trust strategy. What you are looking at here is a proven framework that we use to help female founders unleash their self-trust in 90 days without feeling paralyzed by overthinking or the fear of failure so that they can live the life that they envision for themselves. Now, navigating these three phases isn't always easy, comfortable, or painless. So it can be tough to stay consistent, especially when it does not feel good. That's why I created a community full of amazing women creators that are on the same path. The path to loving ourselves unconditionally, to trusting ourselves no matter what, and to manifesting the highest version of ourselves with calm and with courage. To be honest with you, that is my number one strategy to remain consistent, to remain committed, and to continue moving forward when I feel discouraged or where things are uncomfortable and it doesn't feel good. I surround myself around people that are going on the same path that I'm going so that we can go at it together. And I would love for you to join us. So let me know if you're interested in the comments below.